Yeah, we're back. We're back in Jurassic World Live because, look, where is it? Is it that way? I think it's that way. I could be wrong. Also, I apologize. I'd be bitten on my head right there by a mosquito when I was doing the gardening yesterday. <laughs> I, I went outside for like two seconds and instantly like one went and landed on my knee and I went, oh, you son of a... So I got myself covered in, in like mosquito repellent. One place I didn't do, my freaking head. <laughs> of course it got me there. Anyway, so yes, big news. We are here in Jurassic World Alive. Why are we in Jurassic World Alive? Well, because of this thing and others, which you'll soon see. Look at it, look at it, Waddle. It sounds exactly like the Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus. And I haven't covered this in a while, uh, this game, and main reason being, hold on, let me get my strat up. I'll put the strat up on the screen as well, just so everyone knows. Hopefully this can all go well. I don't know which kitty I am, but I'll just follow along from what everyone else does. I don't. I think I'm the third one, not the bottom one. So they added. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know where to begin because there's been so much, so much change. I have been continuously playing this. Uh, our alliance is looking for new active players uh, to contribute to the. Um, what do you call it? The uh, the cups and the the missions and stuff like that. Um, so if you are interested and you are active and you're do, ready to do the takedowns and just generally participate, then uh, you can. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll put a post. I'll put I'll put a thing on Instagram today. If you respond to it uh, with your code and stuff, and I'll have a look at your profile, and then I can add you. So I've had a clear out because there's a lot of inactive peoples, but I'm wanting to bring it back now. This strategy is probably the easiest to do. Oh. 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 Sorry, we've just got someone in our Discord going, Wow, people coming back to make another Jurassic World Live vids? Huh? <laughs> so, like, this is one of the main reasons why I'm back, and we've got everything sorted out, so hopefully you'll see the strategy play out. Um, and this particular creature, the uh, the Spinosaurus Egypticus or whatever, the scientifically accurate one. This guy is something that you can only do in raids. I think it's twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, if I remember correctly. I don't know. I, I, I try to keep on top of it. I missed about two, so I'll never be the best <laughs> until it's got enough to be maxed out or whatever. Uh, but yeah, Ludia or Jam City or whatever they want to be called have definitely decided to go ham into the these what they're called not legend what, what are these ones called i can't even remember what these dinosaurs are called let's go with okay so we've already got one going for that one i'm assuming i mean i'm i'll i'll go for one of the bottom ones i think i'm gonna go for third yeah there we go okay cool so we, we've now decided where we are so that's good the two bottom ones basically just do the same and hk and i think joe the champion, I think his name is, is uh, is just going to be the top and the top and second top one. So, yes, I'm sorry, incredibly sidetracked. So they've decided to go ham with these creatures. I can't remember. uniques. No, not unique. Why even? There's so many different ones. The crystal-looking things. Anyway, um, but they've also implemented the four v four battles. Now, I went to Ludia's offices a long time ago, like 2018, I think, 2019, before COVID. And one of the suggestions I made to their team was battles that you could rotate dinosaurs. And I was mainly thinking of it for Jurassic World the game, not Jurassic World Alive. You know, where like if you swap in one or rotate, they have different buffs and stuff. And maybe I did say it for Jurassic World Alive, I can't remember. But it's taken five or six years for something like this to happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, so finally they're doing it, which is great. But they've, they've sort of implemented it in a way where it doesn't contribute to your normal overall PvP score, which is, you know, going up in the ranks. And it also doesn't contribute to getting, like, it, because it doesn't contribute to that, you don't get the daily incubator, which is a bit crappy. You know, the ones you need takedowns for. I think they really should should have done that, but they haven't. Uh, Fang should be going for the regular. Uh, Fang. Oh, good God, again? <laughs> well, we might be able to save this. We might be able to save this. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. We should all survive. It. Oh, yeah, it's not, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. You've got two... Oh, actually, no, it kind of works. Yes! No, this works out! 
Yes. I think. I think this works out. Yeah, it does. Never mind. Woo, that was lucky. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, well, anyway, we'll find out. <laughs> I was like, no, we need two to do the evasive and impact deep. But we'll see. Goes for a hit. Oh, yeah, okay, that, that's good. It's just the next one. Fang needs to be there for. We need to do the, the big bleedy, me and him. So we'll see, we'll see. So, yeah, they did the 4v4. Four, four four. I know, I'm sorry, I do get distracted when I'm playing this game because you have to kind of concentrate or else it's all thrown out the window. And the way they implemented it wasn't the best. They only had a couple of different dinosaurs that were able to use, I guess, stopping everyone from using their best creatures and making it just PvP. So at least this way, you know, you can... It's, I guess it's a way for them to make you spend your resources on other dinosaurs, apart from, you know, the biggest and baddest ones. They are implementing some new creatures into the game, as they always do, which are going to, you know, change the meta. That's not going to change. Um, I've, I've cancelled my VIP on this because I, at the moment, where it is, it's, it's not something that I'm too keen on supporting with the really heavy uh, microtransaction meta swapping thing that it is, like money sync. Uh, come on, Fang. You got this. Come on, Fang. Come on, Fang. You got this. Because yeah, well done. Yeah, John the Shepherd's like, we need you this time. <laughs> Brilliant. Now, will we die, though? Oh, we survive. Oh, that's good. Okay, I think we're going to do it. We're going to do it. So, I wanted to have a go over of the 4v4. What's brilliant about the 4v4 is that you actually get four takedowns if you win. And chances are, you're going to get one or two takedowns anyway. Because normally, the, the, the pain in the ass when it comes to battles is that you have to... You know, you have to win. You have to win, like, four battles. Even, like, three, six, nine, and then finally a final win. So you have to do a minimum of four battles. And most of the time with PvP, you're up against people that are just can just steamroll you and it's not a good feeling when you're playing this game or any game it you shouldn't be like oh that sucked that should never be something that happens and unfortunately with this one it does happen you have people that drop just to make it easy for themselves to go back up and then you face against them and then you have people who are just whales and will just completely be out of your league yes volcano mount sibor and uh yeah it's just kind of like one of those uh, weird situations where they've implemented something that's not the best way of doing it, but I get why they've done it. I am, of course, still playing this game every day, trying my best. The they, What they have done, I will admit, they've made the incubators that are the ones you have to set off for eight hours, three hours, or whatever. You do get some of the, whatever this thing is. I can't remember. Are they apexes? I don't know what these things are called. I, why do I not remember what they're called? Anyway, these things. Uh, you get some DNA from those in there, which is great. Right, so the final one, uh, I just want to go for this. Just a regular hit, and this should be it. Now, we'll see. We'll see. I think we. this will probably kill him, I think. This thing. Interesting. Uh, the, is it going to attack, like, make the attack higher on the other one? This one should kill it, I think. Let's see. Let's see. Because otherwise, I think they've got it in the bag, but we'll de just definitely be dead. And they're- Oh, 30,000! Goes down! <laughs> <laughs> it looks so dopey and so sad. Right, so, you'll notice that the, uh, the little icon for- Well done, people, well done. Well done, you all deserve a round of applause. Right, let's open the incubator, shall we? Yes, yes, yes! Now, you, I think you're guaranteed a minimum of 400 DNA. It's either 400 or 500. I can't remember exactly which one. Let's open it. See what we get. But you could get 800. <gasps> oh, Gorgosaurus. Whatever that is. And finally, oh, 500. There we go. Well done. Well done. 500 DNA from the Spinosaurus Egypticus. What Billy Burner said in that, that third movie that everyone just kind of forgets. Uh, I think let's have a look. Do we have any? anything's around here nope nope have none around here but what i will do i've got all of these that i have not opened waiting for somebody to hack me again so that they can just collect them you know i've got to give them something to do <laughs> but this is the thing and it comes with some really omegas god why couldn't i remember that because it's stupid <laughs> that's great so this guy comes with a bunch of different skins look at that oh now I remember Jim Kirkland uh, being very surprised that Universal greenlit a feathered raptor. 
Ju going Jurassic on. World? Yes. So this is, this is <laughs> underwritten or at least approved of I don't, the movie? This isn't in the movie, though. This no, is just, no, this I know is it's just not in the movie. But they are approving of this? Uh, yes. Because I mean, they don't put any feathers. A lot of paleontologists would be very surprised at the fact that this thing has been greenlit as well. So let's have a look at the other skins. It has a marsh skin, which I think is probably the best. Look at that! I feel like it's not the first time I've seen a Spinosaur with this kind of skin. You know, the sort of wetland, jungly looking skin. And then, of course, you've got Spectral, which is the, the sort of boss skin. Which is, you know, I think that's quite nice that they gave the boss a different skin. So it makes their skin unique rather than it's just the basic skin. And this is your normal skin. I don't even know how good this thing is, if I'm going to be honest. It's, you know, when it's all maxed up, they'll all be unstoppable. But it's not immune to stun and it's only immune to a little bit of... Uh, bleed and a little bit of ren so that i don't really care about and we've got other ones to unlock here we've got the book you've got the doe these ones are also allowed in the 4v4 i came up against a team that was rexy doe and book and because you know they're still their new they, it, it was an easy win either way <laughs> of course i'm not they're also for the first time ever implementing like coin offs like 20 percent off coin spendages in this, which they've never done before. So there's a lot of things that they have added to the game. The incubators, better prizes. The um, the leveling up is cheaper, like a little bit of coin off, maybe for a period of time or God knows whatever. There's the Cephalothesis, a Final Fantasy dinosaur, I can only imagine. So it should have the money there. No, it does Okay, for the other one, it did. I don't know why that was. The Celidosaurus. So, what's it called? Skel Skelidosaurus. Skelidosaurus. Hmm. Very dragony looking thing. Again, all I'm doing here, 20% off there. It must be after a certain level or, or something like that. This thing was a new one, the Ceratosaur Gen 2. I, they're probably going to be implementing loads of new creatures. I think I saw something with the Comsoraptors hybrid was coming soon. You always have those accounts, you know, the Russian ones or the Chinese ones that just are able to hack into the game. And I think that's due to them having maybe different versions. I know that a lot of um, a lot of game developers have completely different games in depending on the country. So China's Clash of Clans is completely different to the rest, the one the rest of the world gets. Um, so maybe there's a, the, the reason why they're able to get into the data mine or whatever. I don't know. Either way, it always seems when I see the screenshots, it's always in Russian or Chinese or something. Uh, we have the Crytonosaurus. Of course, named after the late Michael Crichton, the author of Jurassic Park and The Lost World, although he was kind of coerced into writing The Lost World. But yeah, no, he still made a good, good thing. And it's a lot of Jurassic fans, including myself, really like that book. Um, and here we go with the Segnetherus Saurus, sorry. There's, I mean, come on. H can you forgive me? We have icons that look like that. What am I supposed to know that does? It's freaking ridiculous. I think... what Attack one. Attack one. Attack one. So does it hit three times? Maybe it hits three times. I don't know. It's got lots of attackages. I really feel like when things are doing double the damage, or like they hit twice or three times, then the counter, you know, should hit three times as a way to counter that because the whole reason why the double triple hits are in there is to counter the flocks but what if you swapped in something that could do the you know the uh, when hit do damage that would be a great counter for that and that you know but they didn't even implement that and i don't know why it seems like it for me anyway that's a no-brainer like yeah do that so we'll scroll down i just want to see what else is in the game that i haven't gotten yet and i really feel like they should just have a button where i can get straight down to here look at this look at all this stuff there's this thing that everyone's got like maxed up uh, but the thing is it costs already that which is already costing i think yeah this thing so when this thing came into the game everyone maxed it up to level 30 because it was really good like rexy then they gave it a hybrid which was this thing, which everyone maxed up because it was very good. And now they've made this thing. So they, what they do is they make one that's really good. So you spend all your DNA on it and all your coin. And then they then they give it a hybrid, which is even better than it. So, I mean, it, it's, it's kind of annoying when you think about how much they've changed the game. Like they deliberately just make something worse just so you have to spend resources to get the next thing uh, leveled up which for a lot of people might be great like they might, oh yeah the the whales and such people play this game all the time they're like oh, yeah of course it's, it's a new thing it adds to the game i argue it doesn't because it's it just it makes everybody else 
the casual players, the regular players, the people who don't spend money on the game, it just makes it a lot harder for them to even participate. So, here we go. You can switch to 4v4, and it's only for a week, and I don't know, even know what you spend the rewards on. I'm assuming it's something in the shop, like in this store, that you can probably scroll down. Let's have a look. Is there any way to spend it at the moment? Yes, there is. So you buy... Oh, you can actually buy things. Okay, I have 2,500. So I could trade that in for an Allura Titan. I could trade that in for this thing. You know what? I like that. It's a bit like the Amber DNA in Jurassic World, the game. It's a different currency. But in order to use it, and I think the trade is actually pretty genius. You know, trading a thousand of that, which is two days. I think it's two two wins. Uh, you, you get 500 for your first win, then 100 after that or something like that. So you win two times in two days, you get 100 of that DNA, which, I mean, it's not as good as darting one, but at least it's something. And I prefer doing this kind of battle, the 4v4 battles, because I need to do a minimum of three battles, basically, in order to get my 10 takedowns instead of the four and the rage-inducing PvP. So, you know, for every every takedown in the PvP, you really need to fight tooth and nail. Uh, this looks like an easier one. We've got two... We've got the Book and the Doe. We've got Indominus Rex. And we've got the Thylonyx, or whatever it's called. I'm going to do that. Um, okay, I'm going to do, do that, and then do that, and then that's that. I, yeah, I don't think I need to worry about this, but it's just the fact that I've, I'm able to do my takedown super easy. It'd be interesting. Leave in the comments down below. What do you think of this 4v4? Has it been implemented and, implemented it right? Yes, that's exactly the word. Or do you think they could have done it better? And if so, how could they have done it better? So he's doing the same thing as, as what I'm doing. Uh, he's going for a stun and a mobilize on whatever's the fastest, which I'm hoping isn't Rexy. Because Rexy... Oh, Rexy definitely isn't the fastest. Oh, yeah, you could do it on him. Oh, I resisted it. <laughs> oh, a lot of damage. Okay. Uh, he does have his hit everything with his dough. Interesting. Oh, maybe. maybe. Oh, the damage. And when my T-Rex comes through, chances are it, it's going to get it to a point where the Indoraptor could kill it. However, it's not quicker. Right. Dominus Rex is... You know, I don't mind if it just kills one. It's wasting two turns to kill one of my dinosaurs. Where, you know, it could be used on other things. So let's see this. This is level 20. Okay, it only hits the front. Yeah, that's right. You can't hit the back unless you've got a specific thing, I think. So... Ah! That's way more damage than it just did to me. And then... Oh, of course. I get even more attack on Rexy. This could kill the two front ones if I get to go through the cloak of the Indominus. Let's see. Oh! Oh, never mind, I did. I, maybe I didn't, but I did enough damage. Okay, so one's dead in the first turn. Brilliant. Now. Now, now, now. I think... Let's see, have I got something that will... Oh, that'll kill Rexy. That one won't, so I guess I'll go for that one. Um, right, what can I kill you? Lowest health. Yeah, we'll just finish you off. Uh, we can remedy. Can we remedy two? I think, yeah, we'll remedy two straight away. And then, yeah. Ooh, I think two may be dead here. Two may be dead. And you know what? I'm not I'm not bad. I'm not bad. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm not mad. I'm bad. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's so hard to talk and I'm supposed to concentrate. Oh, my God. I'm not mad that they're implementing different ways of allowing us to use creatures that aren't usable in PvP. You know, it's giving people another way to play the game, which is nice. And now... You know, you don't have to really be the best PvP to enjoy the game, I suppose. You can do, you've got 4v4. You've got the Nublar events. But really, at the end of the day, what you do want to do is get the best creatures. And you need those for PvP. So it's it's like distractions, in, I, I would call it. But finally, there we go. Three dead. And then my Rex is just... It's going to absolutely annihilate this thing. Just whoop -ha -ha! There you go. Beautiful. I have leveled up and put some boosts on my Rexy. I think it's got at least two or three speed boosts. Just to help it out. And there you go, 150 of that. And look at that. One, two, three, four. Five. Yeah, almost there. And now if we look, see, you have some chance to get those. And I think if we scroll down. Oh, no, I'm pretty sure I've gotten Omega DNA in these uh, incubators before. But we also have the Isla events. Now, these... Oh, one of the... We've only got eight hours to do this. Damn. 
well, and maybe I'll do this in my own time because I don't want to make this go on for too long and, and yada, yada, yada. But basically, the rewards you get, that's kind of terrible. And maybe that one's kind of terrible too. Oh, and that one? What? Hold on, hold on. Why, why are the rewards terrible? They used to be really good. The last assault, you got so much stuff. And now you, you only get 50 of that? What? What? Okay. Oh, never mind. I take that back completely. It's rubbish. <laughs> I thought they were just going to make them all really good. You got like common, rare, e like epic. You got loads of DNA. Now you don't get much at all. I mean, it's nothing to be sniffed at. You know, 130 German Titan DNA is pretty decent. But it's a lot of work for what you're getting done. And of course, you've got your spend 100 pound here. Get like a... 50 of whatever that thing is $100 or whatever it is probably cheaper in America I'll be honest because it still probably costs 100 bucks but that's a lot cheaper than 100 uh, pounds sterling so yep yeah, and then uh, I don't know I've got 35,000 um, bucks and I will admit they were very kind I think they gave or oh, they gave me I don't know if they gave everybody but they gave me access to the grand premium pass which is the first time they've ever done that Maybe that was their way of trying to be like, come on, cover the game, please. Please come back. <laughs> but I know they gave somebody else this as well. As I think they gave me 10,000 bucks in, in the uh, the mail. But anyway, guys, what, how, what do you think the state of the game is? I mean, I'm still playing it. I'm doing my takedowns. I'm, you know, I'm getting DNA. I, and the thing is, I don't know why I'm doing it. I feel like it's that the time sink cost theory you know i've put so much hours into it and so much money into it that if i was to just go cold turkey then it'd be like well i've just wasted that time oh also i'm all you know i cover this on my channel so i kind of need to <laughs> in case because we have the new jurassic world movie coming out next year and if there's a new dinosaur it's probably going to be in here and you know we need we need to keep this covered i have just took to not covering the game until it's kind of fixed and in a better position but anyway guys I think the Spinosaur is a great addition. I love seeing a, uh, you know, an accurate Spinosaur in, you know, greenlit by Universal and good quality models because they have them in this. Just a shame that they're in this. I'd love to see that model in Jurassic World Evolution 2 or maybe Evolution 3 or whatever they're deciding to work on uh, Frontier, that is. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye-bye.